In today's show, we will hear about Snowball Candidates, a story on ITS, and a counselor's couch. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Hey Vikes, I'm Lexi. And I'm Alex. Hey Alex, have you heard of Thespian Society? No, I haven't. Well, I heard a few of them qualified for internationals. Sounds like hard work. Let's go check it out. So this is the State Thespian Festival, and so all high schools around the state came and competed, and students could compete as a duet, individually acting, singing, um, and acting with a partner, and so we had some students go to uh, participate. I did a duo acting scene with Gabriella Van Sickle. Um, for me, I competed in monologues, so I had a funny monologue and a dramatic one. I think I did best with my dramatic one, but we also had an improv team, so. So, uh, we had people qualified internationals. We had Jade Esman for a monologue. We had Mia. Weiler for and Junior Patterson qualified for a duet and Gabby Van Sickle and AJ Brooks qualified for their duet. I was shocked at first because I didn't expect it um, but I was really happy when I found out that I had especially because I'm going with a bunch of friends of mine. It was pretty good because we put a lot of work in, we practiced every day, we always put in the effort, blocked and did stuff like that and then it felt like we succeeded. Uh, just very proud of my kids who uh, qualified and had lots of fun and there's a lot more events that you can come and see here at for Seaman Theatre. If you see them in the hall, make sure to congratulate them. Now for your daily announcements. Today there will be a meeting during CLP about joining the Topeka Zoo's Youth Council. Tomorrow, tomorrow is the last day to turn in any outside date forms. Make sure to turn them in. Juniors, applications for the internship programs are available now through February 28th on your class page. Check the board for more information. We caught up with Owie for another counselor's couch. Happy Grout Fit Vikes. I'm here with Mrs. Ross to talk about what's going on in the counseling center this week. Well, today Ottawa is going to be here during CALP and the Topeka Zoo is here, has a representative that's coming today to talk about the Zoo Youth Council and how you can get involved if you'd like to. Tuesday, the Marines will be here for lunch and during CALP on Wednesday, K-State will be here during CALP and the Air Guard will have a representative both at lunch and here during CALP. And that's when student-led conferences start Wednesday night and all into Thursday. And for those of you who need to uh, do some ACT prep, we have a workshop going on on Thursday morning as well. Awesome. So if any of those things interest you, make sure and look into them. Now back to your anchors. Make sure to sign up for those ACT prep classes. Make sure to set the copier in the library as your default print option and print two-sided to save trees. Scholars Bowl varsity team took third at regionals Thursday night and is heading to state next Saturday. Now on to Lexi with sports after this quick commercial break. Stop! <laughs> Got a teddy bear? Want to viciously throw the bear like the animal it is? Hot diggity dog, the animal teddy bear toss is set for next Friday, February 14th, during the halftime show. Today at 1:15, Griffin Stewie will play a letter of intent. Will sign a letter of intent to play baseball at Cloud Community College. Congratulations, Griffin! On Saturday, the boys swim team placed third at the Manhattan Invitational. Any girl still interested in girls swim needs to see Mr. Tuck or Miss Lippy for information. Now into weather with Zoe to see if there will be any snow this week.
Good afternoon, Vikings. As most of you probably noticed, it was very windy yesterday with our maximum wind speed reaching 18.3 miles per hour. Our winds did end up going down as we got later into last night. By the time we get out of school today, the temperatures will be a little bit warmer, so I highly recommend going outside and enjoying them while they last. For your SVTV seven day forecast, nothing much will be happening until we reach Wednesday when there is a storm system moving through, possibly producing rain and snow. By Thursday morning, it should be all gone, but Thursday is going to be very, very cold with a high of only 20 degrees. But don't worry, because just in time for the snowball, the temperature will be reaching the mid-40s to 50s. Now back to your anchors. Do you know who your snowball candidates are? No, I don't. Well, Aaron and Morgan went to learn more about them. He is smart. He's not too <laughs> So bad. I'm happy. Hers, winter, cold. No, I was going to say a tornado. <laughs> you got one? No, I actually don't. So I don't have one. Free. Broccoli cheddar soup. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> we'll bite. <laughs> okay. Um, last year in strength and conditioning, I was doing the ladder thing. And it was like the in, out, in, out, in, out, and I failed and sprained my foot. Um, I got hit in the eye with an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was just going to leave it at that. I was getting in a car one time and I fell down and I like gashed open my knee from getting into a car. Jumping off the top of the slide, I broke my uh, ankle and leg. Um, I broke my ankle in a basketball game because I stepped on someone's foot. Oh, oh, wait! No, I broke my big toe because I dropped bricks. On, I dropped a 50-pound brick on it. One time I stubbed my toe, my pinky toe, so hard. I'm pretty sure I broke it, and it's like it's so fat. It hurt really bad. I fell on a box and dislocated my knee and bruised ligaments. So that's probably the dumbest thing. I was on top of the monkey bars once, and I jumped down to attack someone and kindergarten or something like that, and I broke my pinky. Uh, Griffin, because he's like a fish in the water when he swims. Mason. Oh, I was going to say that too. He's just a funny guy. Really. I just want to know what goes on in his head. Like why he says the stuff he says. Probably Conlon, because she's really pretty and she's really nice to me, so. Yeah, I would, I would be Chase. <laughs> I want to know how he takes care of all that hair. Mason Price because he gets a lot of girls. Yes, the earth is flat. So. I think the world's gonna end soon. Um, Tupac, Juice World, Lil Peep, and other people are all living in Cuba right now. Like the Mandela effect? I believe in that. President John F. Kennedy conspiracy theory I don't know what that is. because a guy was telling me about it when I went down there. <laughs> I don't know. No. The t no, that's yes, just part it of the body. Yes, because it doesn't have a shell. No. It lives in a shell. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> so like, without a shell, where do they sleep? Yeah, because that's literally his home. That's how he lives. <laughs> they live in their shell, don't they? They just suck in, right? Don't they live in the ground? No, they don't. Like make holes. They definitely like live, live in their shell. No, they live, they in, the live in their shell and they suck in and no, take I'm an out. Sure they like crawl on the ground. Like, I don't think they crawl on the ground. Little hole, live in there. <laughs> yeah, because it lives in its shell. It, that's where its home is. It doesn't. I don't know if they have another no. place they go. No. They don't live in. It. It's not homeless. <laughs> Why? The shell is its home. I don't think they have. This kind of sounds mean if you call them homeless. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think they make homes. I think their shell is their where they sleep and stuff. Yes, because it doesn't have a shell. Yes, because the shell is its home. It lives inside of it. Yeah. A turtle lives in a lake. No, they live water. underground. No. They live in the water. Turtles live in the water? <laughs> That's why they're called sea turtles. And, you know. Okay. 
Next question. They live in the water. So no, it's not homeless. Yeah, it's between two pieces of bread. No, because a sandwich, it like covers it and the hot dog is on top. No, you got this, the, bread, meat, bread, And does sandwich. that, is that what the hot dog goes like? No, it's bread, hot dog, bread. Yes, because there's meat in between two buns and I think that cl classifies as sandwich, so. I agree. So it's like this, it's like the hot dog well, is in a bed. Well, not if you rip the bread in half. No, because it's called a hot dog, not a turkey sandwich or a <laughs> turkey dinner sandwich. It's just a hot dog. I don't even know what a sandwich is, so. Okay, but who rips their hot dog bun? I do. Maybe I like to eat hot dogs like that. Put what? a little ketchup on it. It's good. No, it's like it's like a bed for your hot dog. Yeah, sure. If it wants to be, I don't know. It's fine. I'm gonna go to a hot dog sandwich because it's got the bread on the outside and then like the meat's in the middle. Yeah, sandwich. And then you put mustard and ketchup on it. So no, it's, it's not a sandwich. sandwich. It's not a sandwich. It's a sandwich. It's not a sandwich. <laughs> oh, the whoa. <laughs> My favorite one is any TikTok dance that goes like this. <laughs> Just because I feel like, really? like I can move quickly. <laughs> I don't dance. Okay. Let's hit the wall. Every single dude is down there. Yes, sir. I'll take this one. All right, yeah, go ahead. Renegade, renegade, oh, renegade, renegade. Uh, that was gross. That was amazing. Oh, wait, no, wait. I like this one. I say enough until you're not hungry anymore. So I mean, if you're eating like 15, that's fine. As long as you're not hungry anymore, it's good. I'm gonna say three, because then after three, you're probably feeling like death because your stomach's so full. And it's like, explode. None. Oh, <laughs> I was waiting for that. Um, like two. One, I do not like cheeseburgers. Three, I can eat two, but. After that, too many. Zero. Because they're not healthy for you. Go with the veggie one. Oh, nasty. Because who knows what's in there, right? I don't know. Two. I don't know. <laughs> Talks too much. Laughs too loud. Warning, we'll talk to you. Mine would be... Probably like a warning could scream at any time because sometimes I'm just walking and then I'll be like, ah, I don't know why it just happened. <laughs> a warning could fall at any time. That's more accurate. I fall down all the time. <laughs> probably it would, it would probably say warning and then idiot approaching. I'm just going to go ahead and say mine's a hot mess. I think everyone should know that. Warning. My partner's crazy. Mm, good one. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, over dramatic. Warning, complete idiot. Watch out. <laughs> I'm a blonde, I say stupid things. Do you know who you're going to vote for? No, but those are some pretty good answers. I agree. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Tune in tomorrow to learn more about girls basketball and the signing.